Hi, it's Russ from Protos Expert, and I've got myself a copy of the new UAD Neve 1073 strip. And this offers you a input stage, EQ, and an output stage. And if you're using one of the Apollo interfaces, then it offers you the Unison technology, which basically means that as you change the gain and move things around in the preamp, the digital gain stage within the Apollo interface will react accordingly and model the changes that would have happened in the original analog gear. So that's a really nice feature, but you have to have the Apollo interface to do that. However, you can use it as a plugin. So I'm going to use it as a plugin now, which won't take advantage of the Unison features, but it will give you the rest of the features. And UAD have made a big fuss about this being really great sounding and being as close to a 1073 as is possible. And so what we have, we have uh, the input stage, which gives us line and mic input. Uh, gain so you can basically use this as a strip now the one thing I've tested already and I bought it in earlier I put two of the set I put two kicks in and I put a 1073 without any settings on it I put this at 0 DB no settings and then I put it on a second channel and put a trim on it and did a phase reverse and it does indeed it does indeed induce some saturation and so you will hear a change so you can do the null test on this and you can hear that it's actually making a difference just by sticking this across a channel and adding no EQ and no gain changes either. So that's good to know. So you could basically use this as a saturation, like a channel strip, and just get the get the sound of the channel itself without using it for any other reason. So that's what you get first. So say if you're an Apollo user, you can use this for tracking as well and get the, the really good Neve sound through it as you track. So what you have is say you have the gain input, then you have a high, a, a high mid here, and a low mid, and then a low pass filter and we have a phase, and then you have the, the, the fader as well, so you can push the fader and get even more distortion through the channel if you want, and then you've got an output that you can use to uh, correct any differences between the changes in, in gain and the changes in EQ between it being on and being off. So for example, if I put this kick drum on now and just play it on its own for a minute and turn the rest off and play that to you, If we turn that off now, so we can get the the input and the output matched, and then we don't have any of those kind of issues of well, it's louder, so it sounds better. Theories that people have. You can hear straight away the difference that's making with the EQ I've got on it. Really warming that up. So I put this on a kit, and so I've got it on a a kick. And I've got it on a snare. Let me play the snare now. And you can hear really, really put some carriage into that snare. That's off. And back on again. So we've then got some hi-hats. Let's play the hi-hats. And we're using the, the filter on the hi-hats as well. Quite subtle this time, just, just lifting the top end a bit, but we could if we wanted to really go for brogue. So you can hear that, that that really does work like an analog EQ. The point of almost filtering that to death. And mostly the filtering is going on at the bottom end just to clean this up a bit. And then we have it finally on some overheads. Especially to the overheads, it's really giving them some warmth. Really changing those overheads. And again, we're using the output controls to balance any indifference between, any difference, forgive me, not indifference, I hope it's not indifferent, some difference between the, the input and the output, and you can really hear it's giving some real body at the bottom end there. So there's a few tests I've done for this, and what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to throw these up on SoundCloud, and I'm going to give you some stuff to listen to, and actually different from normal. So what I have done is a few things I've done, and you might see as well, I've got the Ship 73, which is the Waves version of this. 
And so what I've done is I've done I've done the same settings on the Sheps versus the UAD. And because we're on YouTube, you probably won't hear them very well. So what I've then done is I've bounced them all as stereo pairs. So I've got a bypass version, a 1073 with a line gain at uh, plus 20, a 1073 with a mic pre at plus 10. So we're using the, so minus 20, sorry. Uh, and then I've got the, a mix, and then a, 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 a mix I've duplicated. So I've done a copy of the mix, the settings for the UAD onto the waves as well. And so you can hear all of these and compare them yourselves. And if you're a UAD user, of course, you can download both the waves and the UAD and do your own tests yourself. So they're all then, they've all then been balanced as well. So they're all coming in and they've all been tracked at minus three dB. So they're all equally matched in terms of volume. So we either listen to a bypass version of it, just the regular kit without anything on it, uh, or the line or the mic or the, the mixed version or the waves, you're going to hear different things. So anyway, so I've got the waves here. So I've got, here's the UAD as a mix. There's a couple of things that could account for that. The first thing that could account for it is that the the Wave 73 is a slight modded 73. If you go and if you recall when this was launched, the Wave 73, there's a mod in the Andrew Shep circuits uh, that's uh, not in the original 1073. So that may account for some of the change. But what you find, what I'm finding, is on the UAD, it's a much more open sound. Let's play that again, and you'll hear this when you play the SoundCloud stuff. Around the top end, you can you can really hear it when you listen to these later. Anyway, I say we're on YouTube, so it's not a very good way of doing it. But what I want to show you now, anyway, so here's the original kit without any processing on it. Then I'm going to show you uh, with, with line level preamp drive on it. Then with some mic preamp drive. Then with a mix, and then with the waves the waves version of the mix. So here's the first one. Let's play you this, and they're all at minus three dB. That's just using the preamp of the 1073 from Universal Audio. Straight away you can hear it adding some character. Now the most remarkable change is when you use the mic pre to drive some saturation. So here's the original. Now for me, that's a winner. That's so sweet. And again, off. Now this is the mix. So here's the original. Here's the UAD Neve mix. Lovely, lovely warmth in there. Now let's compare the waves to the UAD as well. There's the Wave Shep 73. UAD again. So there we are. It's a pretty simple plugin uh, for Apollo users. It's going to be great using the Unison technology. Now, of course, you don't get that if you use the Waves plugin. But let's get back to the UAD for a second. For me, the just using it as a preamp uh, without doing any EQ is remarkable. As I say, if you listen to again this this first untreated mix and then put the preamp across it at top end. The openness and the, the, the uh, overheads now is awesome.
and that's the line level version of it. Even that's making some nice subtle changes. But this one for me, that's a killer. Then we can mix it as well. More solid kick drum now. So I have to say a number of things. The first thing is that the UAD Neve 73 is a fantastic achievement. It sounds awesome. It really does. Uh, there's a few things to note about it. If you've read the blog, you'll see it already. It is a memory lover. So it will use a lot of DSP power. About 43% of DSP power will be used when you use this. So if you're using one of the smaller Apollos, then you're not going to get a lot of instances live out of it. So if you're tracking, you're, you're going to get an acoustic guitar and a vocal out, but you're not going to be able to put a whole kit through this on a smaller one. So you're going to need some more horsepower. Now, of course, what you could do is you could have an Apollo uh, interface, like a baby interface, and then have a card inside your machine and share the resources. Uh, so that's one option. Uh, or Of course, the bigger Apollos, it won't be such an instance. You can go and see the chart on our uh, website to see the instance count that you'll get on this and the kind of power that it's using. So at the same time as I say I wanted to get the waves of just out of curiosity and see what that would do as well and there are differences. Now you I, I love this review this plugin when I reviewed it and what, what I'm finding is actually is they sound different. Uh, I don't want to say better or best or worse or worst uh, they are different and the ships has some 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 obvious advantages over the UAD one which is that one it has MS processing mid-side processing option on it which is a really good thing if you if you want to use it in some really cool scenarios uh, for let's say uh, on, a, on a let's say a jazz drum kit of course you don't need a UAD card to use it in terms of sound I have to say uh, that the UAD is much more, much more open and much more bright uh, and the the waves Shep 73 is is, is has more uh, more bottom end to it uh, and is not a, as open at the top end but it's horses for courses it's taste now if you haven't got a UAD card then of course the Sheps is a is a worthy contender and, and by no means a, a, a poor poor second if if you haven't got a UAD card they're very different but I just want to do this test give you some ABs some comparisons and say that they're both fantastic plugins but this was primarily about the UAD but I want to do a little shootout as well so I'm going to SoundCloud all this audio as well for you to listen to and then you can decide yourself which one uh, you like or whether you might use them on different occasions. So uh, enough of my rambling. There we go. UAD Neve 1073 is a fantastic achievement, especially if you've got an Apollo interface. It's almost a no-brainer uh, because it's going to give you Neve channel processing as you track, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and go and check it out. And at the same time, check out the Waves, Sh the Waves Shep 73 as well. Uh, they're different. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not going to give you a buy one or the other uh, because uh, you're all grown-ups listening to this and you don't need me to tell you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.